Hello everyone, and welcome to Art Song Colorado Live. I'm going to open with a poem for something different. The Years at the Spring by Robert Browning. The years at the spring and days at the morn, mornings at seven, the hillsides dew pearled, the larks on the wing, the snails on the thorn, God's in his heaven, all's right with the world. Not a bad way to start off a spring-themed art song show this evening. Um, so here we are. It's Art Song Colorado Live. I'm still in search of a better name, so please put your ideas uh, in the comments down below. I'm definitely interested in hearing your ideas for a great name for an art song show. Uh, it's still snowing here in Denver, uh, and so my spring show seems to have been replaced by a weather report about uh, about the snow, you know, and more inches coming on out there right now. Um, but despite that, I, I, I think that I'm, my, my sheer force of optimism is going to drive this spring mini series of this, uh, this live stream uh, and drive it into a reality. But you know, I got to admit, man, oh man, I am beat. I mean, I can't seem to kick the winter blues and I need something to really lift my spirits. Um, oh, you could help out. Uh, please share, like, subscribe, be your best social network self. This would be awesome for Arts on Colorado. Um, uh, it's a silly show. I love doing this. It gives me energy and uh, makes me feel like spring is here, I suppose. So uh, help me out by hitting share, hitting like, sub subscribing, and putting some comments in. So since Arts on Colorado is coming out of our COVID cocoon. I wanted to let you know that we have a very exciting performance coming up. It's at the People's Building on Friday, May 7th. That's the first Friday of every month. And uh, the People's Building is a fabulous location in Aurora, Colorado. Uh, and it is um, right on Colfax. It's um, it's an amazing space where Art Song Colorado and then previously uh, Denver Art Song Project did uh, quite a number of shows. We're thrilled to have our friend Aaron Vega bring us back. Um, and so Michael Beavers, our engineer and uh, and guitarist is, and he and uh, he and I are going to be performing a few selections from D. Schirner Müllerin, which was our uh, our our most recent album collaboration, and we're also doing our very first performance of Britain's Songs from the Chinese, which is a fabulous set of six songs that are super interesting. I talk a little bit about them, just like a really brief intro before each one, so that you can get a sense of what's going on. But they are uh, very, very cool. And I think that you will find uh, it to be uh, a lovely evening, uh, free online through their Facebook page. Um, I think YouTube too. I'll be posting about it over the next couple weeks as uh, we get psyched for this performance. So I've talked about stuff that's coming up. I've talked about, um, I, I don't know. Uh, I've welcomed you to the show. Let's do our song for the evening and we'll keep things uh, moving along. So last episode, we talked about winter has trouble letting go. It still is having trouble letting go. I get it. For those of you who are out here in Colorado with me, you know how painful it can be sometimes when you think you got that 80 degree day and then the next day, bam, you know, it's snowing and accumulating. Uh, anyways, last week's song was a little bit of a downer because, you know, that's kind of what it feels like. But what I think spring needs right now here in Colorado is a good solid kick in the pants to shake itself free. And uh, when the weather turns the corner, I think you can thank this week's song for giving it that kick in the pants. At least that's my theory. So today I want to share with you a really neat song. It's called The Years at the Spring and it's by Amy Beach. Um, and this song, uh, I read the poem at the beginning. Ah, see what I did there? It's like I planned this or something. Um, and it's a performance by uh, my good friend, uh, Dr. Stephanie Andury and Susan Ellinger. And they are performing, this was recorded as part of our March with Her um, show that we did last fall, which was a show, it was sort of a fictional narrative about um, 
about women's suffrage in Colorado. So, uh, so I thought I would share this performance. We just got the first uh, cut in. So this is our preview of what's going to be released on YouTube and Facebook very soon. Um, and so uh, the years at the spring, well, what do I like about the song? And I think you're going to like it too. It's exuberance. You heard me read the poem at the beginning of the show. And I did the best that I could. I'm not really an actor per se, but you know, I think what we need to, what it, you know, what, what really brings this song to life is those great words and the fact that it's so exuberant. Uh, the piano is going like a hundred miles an hour and the singer is just kind of hanging on for dear life as, as spring, you know, the next stop is going to be spring and we're going to make it. And that's what this song is all about. And so I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Um, I don't really have any deep thoughts on it. It's about exuberance, spring poetry, bursting with life. Uh, it's a quality art song. And this is a fabulous, uh, compo uh, a fabulous performance by Dr. Stephanie Endery and Susan Ellinger. So, like I said, exuberant, right? I'm not kidding when I say these things. Uh, one of the things that I think you also can appreciate about it is its brevity, right? That was a minute long. It's one of the things that makes art songs so great is the fact that these are really, really uh, concise little pieces of art, which makes it super uh, easy for me to talk about it in a short web show. This might be my shortest one yet at this rate. Um, but more importantly, uh, you know, uh, it's okay. It's okay to have uh, these little art song experiences and it's perfect for the internet. And so that's why this show is here. That is why uh, I, I love talking about them. Um, and so I just wanted to, to sort of, you know, say what, well, you know, what a great happy spring song as promised. We'll be releasing that as a solo, uh, as a separate track um, in the next a uh, few weeks. I don't know. I do it when I feel like it. Um, and uh, next week, we will do the final part of our uh, spring awakening here at Art Song Colorado. Um, we're going to go deep into the Denver Art Song Project archives. Remember, Denver Art Song Project was who we are before we became a nonprofit. So uh, thanks for joining me tonight on uh, Art Song Colorado Live. I hope you leave a comment. Uh, or a message, and uh, be sure to like and share. It's a simple show with a simple premise, one song per week. Um, I'll be next. I'll be back next week with the final uh, spring art song for our little mini series. And uh, don't forget the words of the poet Theodore Rothke: "If you can't think, at least sing." <laughs>